Okay, now I'm going to focus for a while on the open E minor pentatonic scale. It's one of my favorite little parts of the guitar when it comes to soloing. It's also why the blues is an E so much, uh, because you've got all, first of all, you've got all the open strings in, in the E minor pentatonic. They're all in there. And what's really nice is the high E string, especially when you're in the key of E, that high E string is really nice. See that? You can just, any random time, you can get that in there. Uh, the open B string is almost, I mean, it's pretty much right there, just as strong too. You just don't want to get too sloppy with it. See that? So, I'm not saying, you know, just do everything I just did. I'm saying you see that concept there. So, here is a cool classic Hendrix style lick. We're going to slide. We're using this little portion here, the, um, the 3 and the 5 on the high E, the 3 and the 5 on the B, and then you've got the 4 and the 2 on the G. And that's going to be our slide transition finger. <laughs> Remember I said the open, all the open strings work, so that would mean... So we're going to slide with the third fret, middle finger. Uh, it's not totally wrong to use your ring finger, but for this position, we're going to use our middle finger right now. Third fret slid up to the fifth fret, but we're going to have the high E ringing out with that. And then back. Then open. It's a cool sound. Middle finger goes to the second fret of the G string right here. And we're sliding it from two to four. Getting our index finger to the third fret of the B string. So, so far. Then middle finger slid back down and pulled off. Ending on the second fret of the D string, which is the root of that scale. Really slow. Now when you're sliding this, you can do lots of different combinations here. You could go 
Remember that high E is always going to work. You could do that too, where you skip the B string altogether. So there's more right in this vibe coming your way. Hang tight.